I don't know how to say this. This is definitely a thing that escalated super quickly. Yes, I have sold my wheels. This literally happened within two hours. The wheels are actually going to another good home. He told me he watches the video. His name's Joseph. Thank you for coming through and coming through within two hours. He contacted me and literally drove to me from San Jose to pick up the wheels. I'm so grateful to have supporters like you. And Joseph, I hope you enjoy the wheels. <laughs> Today is also the day where I am gonna be putting my new wheels on. If all goes well and the tires stretch on easily, then they'll definitely be on. Another thing is I already went ahead and put on a 50 mil spacer in the rear and a 20 mil up front. Since the Model 5s are not too good of specs, I will need to do this. That's a pretty fast spacer though. Let's go pick up the wheels now in this beautiful G35. Wow. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. I love it. Whoa. Damn. That looks crazy. I think I got it from here. Oh my god, guys. They are in the car. All four of them, actually, in the back seat. Fits pretty good. Thank you, Elite Performance. I should probably be looking at the road. Oh my god. Cardboard to keep the wheels from hitting. Always a must. Oh, yes. Ah. The car is ready. I'll catch you guys once the car is on the ground with the wheels because it's getting kind of dark and rainy. I'm gonna hurry it up a little for you guys. Oh my God. All right, well, it's two days later and things didn't really go the way I actually planned it. But here's the car right now and how she sits. What I was planning on doing is putting these rear wheels with more stretch up front so that I have more stretch and more meat in the rear. Unfortunately, that didn't end up working. So I swapped it back around. Then I experimented with some spacers. I stacked five spacers. This equals out to 35 millimeters. So I bought 35 millimeters and tested it in the rear because this is a 50 mil which is like two inches of spacer this is way too much and the wheel can't even compress all the way a 50 mil is definitely way too much it pokes out so much that the quarter panel can't even compress down all the way it sits on the tire that's all you can see it thankfully amazon has some fast shipping these are 35 millimeters and flush. I love it, oh my God. I literally bought new tires as well, but now that I look at it, I don't even think I need it. I kind of like how it looks right now. The rears is uh, the rears is a 17 by 10 with uh, 21540. Same thing with this front. Stacked five spacers equal out to 35. I'm gonna be running like that for a little bit until I order spacers again. As for the whole overall car setup, this will do for now though. As a daily driver, I don't want it too, too low. Luckily my coils are max, so it's limiting me to this height because if I had other coilovers, it would be definitely lower. God damn though, this car looks really different with 17s. Wow. In the rear, 
the exhaust is pretty low again. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the spacers in the rear, take it for a test drive, and see how I like it. Let's see how it looks. Good amount of gap, but eh. Time to take this thing on a drive. I have to take my school transcript and bring it to the college that I might be going to. I'm not really excited about it because I want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Anyways, I can't wait to see how this thing drives. You know what's weird when I reverse? Can you hear that? Oh my god, that's so horrible. Ready, cause I'm gonna send it. Aha, uh -huh, not too bad. Can't believe it, I drove in San Francisco with no problems. It felt like I didn't even switch from 17 to, eight. no. 18s to 17s. <laughs> yeah, this car drives perfect. God. Oh. There's a bump right here. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, this car is literally perfect and what I wanted. Keep in mind, this is my daily driver. That's why it's not crazy low. Oh my God. That looks so good. I honestly cannot stop looking at it. 